measurement of different factors for evaporation. Estimation of evaporation is of utmost importance in many hydrologic problems associated with planning and operation for reservoirs and irrigation systems. In arid zones, this estimation is particularly important to conserve the scarce water sources. However, the exact measurement of evaporation from a large body of water is indeed one of the most difficult tasks. Measurement of evaporation. Evaporation is usually measured by evaporation pans and at atmometers. Evaporation pans are most widely used for measuring evaporations. It is affected by the size, depth, and location of the pan. And this is done by using evaporimeters. Evaporimeter. These are pans containing water which are exposed to the atmosphere. Loss of water by evaporation from these pans are measured at irregular intervals daily. Meteorological data such as humidity, wind velocity, air, and water temperatures and precipitation are also measured and noted along with evaporation. The following slides will contain the types of evaporation pan. USWB Class A Evaporation Pan It is a standard pan of 1,210 mm in diameter and 255 mm in depth used by the U.S. Weather Bureau. The depth of water is maintained between 18 cm and 20 cm. The pan is normally made up of unpainted galvanized iron sheet. The pan is placed on a wooden platform of height of 15 centimeters above ground level to allow free air circulation below the pan. Evaporation is measured by measuring the depth of water in a stilling well with a hook gauge. ISI Evaporation Pan also known as modified class A pan, consists of a pan 1,220 mm in diameter with 255 mm of depth. The pan is made of a copper sheet of 0.9 mm thickness, thin inside and painted white outside. The evaporation at this pan is found to be less by about 14% to that, form, to that from unscreened pan. The pan is placed on a square wooden platform of width 1,225 mm and a height of 100 mm above ground level to allow free air circulation below the pan. The top of the pan is covered with a hexagonal wire net of GI to protect water in the pan from birds. Presence of the wire mesh makes the temperature of the water more uniform during the day and night. Colorado Sunken Pan this pan is 920 mm square and 460 mm deep, is made up of unpainted, galvanized iron sheet and buried into the ground within 100 mm of the top. Main advantage of this pan is its aerodynamic and radiation characteristics are similar to that of a lake. The disadvantage, disadvantages of this pan is it is difficult to detect leaks, expensive to install, extra care is needed to keep the surrounding area free from tall grass and dust. USGS Floating Pan This pan is designed with a view to stimulate the characteristics of a large body of water. This square pan, 900 mm to the side and 450 mm deep, is supported by drum floats in the middle of a raft and is set afloat in a lake. Water level in this pan is maintained at the same level as that in the lake, leaving a rim of 75 mm. Diagonal baffles are provided in the pan to reduce surging in the pan due to wave action. Uh, the disadvantages of this pan is it is high cost of installation and high maintenance and it is difficult in making measurements.